Okay, this was interesting. Um, I actually saw a little clip. It was a fresh and fit clip, uh, mind you, which is kind of nuts. So what? here's what they tried to say, and I just want to walk this argument all the way to the end. And you might agree with me, you might not, but hear me out. So what they're basically saying is like, mental illness <laughs> amongst women is going to rise because... Oh. All of these Instagram girls who are basically known for being really beautiful are now like not going to be beautiful anymore. And what are they going to do with their lives? Um, and I will say like, um, if beauty is the only commodity that you have and basically you have like nothing else going for you in your life, which and I don't think you actually have to have that much going <laughs> for you. I would say get a job in an apartment and a book channel. I feel like that's really all you need to live a pretty harmonious life, probably for the rest of your life. So well, I will repeat that in case anybody needs to take notes. Okay, get a job. If you're a woman, the easiest job you can get is a server. Become a server. Okay, get an apartment. Pay your bills. Join a book club. Uh, Kenya's got a book club there you go that's enough meaning that's all the meaning that you like need in your life if you have more like great like if you do more great but like yes you should not put your entire self-worth on your image and your looks that doesn't make any sense I don't know who ever advocated for that but now here's the thing that I think is interesting because people are People continue to talk about like how Britney Spears is off the wall. Britney Spears is so crazy. Britney Spears is this and that. A lot of y'all don't realize the shit that like Britney Spears has gone through. First of all, Britney Spears was in a conservatorship for a very fucking long time and she is a grown ass woman. That means her family had access and was ruling all of her money. So she had this like very like uh, turbulent relationship with her family members who had all her fucking resources, all her money, like her whole career. She worked for that money and her fucking parents had access to it. And she's a grown ass adult. That's a whole thing. Britney Spears also has a ton of shit she's dealing with with like her family, like her ex baby daddy, Kevin Federline. Now she's going through a divorce. All of those things are are just if you are a person who's living in the world okay and first of all you have a baby daddy you have another person who you used to be in a relationship with now you are not in a relationship with them and you have a you're raising children all of that shit is hard we have seen youtubers who are just the mom tubers who are like having whole meltdowns every day because it's so fucking hard so first of all so britney spears is a very popular celebrity britney spears also like is just getting out of a conservatorship britney spears is going through a fucking divorce and britney spears is also a momming that's a lot like britney spears is under a fuck ton of pressure and everybody needs to give her some grace also, I feel like a lot of people like to talk about the Britney Spears shave your head moment and they just like do not contextualize any of it. First of all, what was happening to Britney Spears at that point in time? We had never really had when Britney Spears was the pop star that she was. She was kind of like maybe man, how can I she was like bigger than Beyonce or like Brianna because like just at that time we had we didn't have anybody else like that and she was like so fucking major and they had that was when all of those like um this is before Instagram so it was like all of these magazines would come out and paparazzi would just like walk around Los Angeles and take pictures of people all 24 7 right and then they will post these magazine shots and make up all these stories just they would dig into every single aspect of your life. And they kept doing that to Britney Spears. And so Britney Spears shaves all of her hair, her hair off. And she tells the paparazzi, leave me the fuck alone. They don't. And then so I remember one one paparazzi, they were like trying to shoot a picture of her and they were following her as she was walking in a car and she took her umbrella and she basically like went to hit the paparazzi with the umbrella and somebody got a shot of that. And that was on the front page of every magazine. And so everyone was like, Britney Spears is freaking out. Britney Spears is going crazy. Ah, you know. And so I don't know. I feel like now Britney Spears is a fucking pop star. I don't know. Like, 
I don't know. I actually don't know if she's found like more meaning in her life beyond or another identity beyond pop star. Maybe she has, maybe she has not. I really don't know. Um, What I will say is like, I don't know why everyone is so, first of all, I don't know why everyone is so concerned with her mental health. Like, and, and also they're talking about her mental health. Like it's worse off than other people's. And I don't, I think contextually it's probably not like I don't see I heard that like um and I'm not sure about this I feel like Candace Owens covered this that Amanda Bynes was like walking down the street naked or something and so they put her in a psych ward and okay like but also like I don't see Britney Spears doing that I think she was just making dances on Instagram which if she's like 15 or if she's 35 and she wants to make a video on TikTok or something of her dancing, she can do that. And that doesn't really have anything to do with her like losing her mind because she's losing her beauty. I don't know. It almost feels like what people are trying to do is say that like older women don't have the capacity to occupy space on the internet and that all of these beautiful women now are just doomed to crazy because they are ugly. And I just kind of wonder, like, here's the thing that doesn't make any sense to me. The podcast, and I feel like what men, this is like men in general, what they're all trying to do is like nitpick and unpack every every single thing that's like wrong with women. Oh, this woman does that. Oh, this woman did that. This woman, these women do that. Like, which of the women are the ones that are like peaceful and nice? The ones who like don't say anything at all, the ones who don't work, the ones who are just like at home pregnant, like, okay, those are the ones that are not problematic. But all of the other ones who do anything, if you have a job, you're problematic. You have a hobby. Oh, you stupid bitch. Like you, you have an opinion. Die, die. You know what I'm saying? Like if you notice, it's like every single thing that women do. And, and I mean, I don't know, I guess the, in the only fans girls case, I would, I would really hope that first of all, that they find meaning outside of their looks, because that is just so important. Like you have to be a full human outside of the way that you look like you have to find meaning in your life outside of your physical appearance. I could say that a hundred more times, but I feel like you probably get the gist of where I'm going with that. (sighs) And I think also it's really important for like other women to like hear the narrative that these guys are all because they're all the dudes basically at this point are watching like the fresh and fit in this narrative. And they're kind of all coming to this like collective consensus about how to talk about women. And it's just wrong. Like, it's just wrong. Like, nobody gives that same critique to men. And this is where, like, the misogyny comes in and is so real. The human experience in general is complicated for everyone. For everyone. Men and women included. So there's no person who's going to go through their entire life and just be, like, totally content and have all of, like, the skills and ability that they need to deal with every situation that comes their way because they're so great. That isn't a thing. Like, everyone's going to hit a patch, a time in life where it's just hard. They don't know how to deal with it. And they're still trying to go. Like, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. And I kind of, I just feel like nobody needs to, like, um, be, like, it, how do I say? It's not, it's not over when that happens. It isn't, like, yeah, how do you say? Like, it's not, that. Like, it's okay that that's a thing. And we just need to have a little bit more, like, grace for women and I really wish that these narratives would stop because the narratives are so toxic and they're so mean and they're so incorrect and I just I I just hope that there aren't like naive women who are like listening to that and just believing that like that is it's not you're not doomed to like be Just because you were like, just because today you are pretty on Instagram, that doesn't mean tomorrow or next year you're going to like die and be crazy because like 
I don't know, because you were pretty on Instagram like that. I feel like as long as you are just a little bit self-aware, you can just realize that like you can move on with your life. Kind of out of necessity because like you'll just have to. But also like just move on with your life. Like I don't I don't even know. Like whatever you did. Then they started they the guys start mentioning something about like Amber Rose. Amber Rose is going crazy. Like is she? Like I I don't I I don't follow these people. I really don't know. I feel like at this point I don't even follow anybody. I blocked some people that I kind of liked because I I think I blocked all the males at this point. Like I don't follow any men <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't want the toxicity in my life anymore. So I, I don't really know. I saw that one clip. I feel like I get enough, I get enough doses of male energy from like Michael Knowles and Ben Shapiro. Like that's enough for me. <laughs> that's all I can take. <laughs> there are men who work in the spaces that I work and they're male customers. That's enough. Like that's enough for me. I think I've got enough for my whole life. Like, I don't, I just don't need any more. I think maybe also just be aware that, like, the most common narrative around mental health and the way that it started, the way that actually the field of mental health and psychiatry was created was to identify, like, why women stopped being so docile. I think somebody else covered this and I'll try to find, there was a video I found a while ago and I put it in a playlist, but I have so many playlists, I don't know if I can find it. But they were trying to understand, like, why women stop being so docile and they started, like, talking back and having opinions and shit. And so now they, they started putting women on all these medications when they just started talking and having opinions. They were like, nope, these bitches are talking. This is an issue. This is – they are all crazy. They're all crazy whores. So so I made the other, the other video about, like, why did they put Malcolm X's mom in, in a mental institution – I still to this day wonder, like, look at all the shit that she was going through. If you were going through all of that shit, would you be okay? I don't know. Would you? Oh, I don't know. Would I also, like, would you just say blanketly because she was going through all that shit that now she, there was no solution in society that could have helped her? Nothing at all. No person, no, she couldn't be talked to anymore. Like, what? I don't understand. <laughs> Another thing I think is kind of funny here, and I don't know like how society is going to deal with this, but for all the people who are proposing like this thing, they're saying like homeless people are thus mentally ill, and thus those are all the people who need to be hospitalized. Like a lot of the homeless people are men. The most common demographic of homeless people are men. So now they're going to put a whole bunch of men in the mental institution. Like, what are they going to do with them? They just live there now for the rest of their lives. Like, well, I don't understand. I don't know. It is interesting to think about. I just wanted to highlight that, though, because before before you jump onto the like the train of simply calling Britney Spears nutty and calling her crazy, crazy, dealing with shit, maybe start to unpack the circumstances around what somebody is dealing with. And it like, could you deal with that? Do you personally have a solution for how to deal with that? Because if you don't, you might want to shut the fuck up and take two steps back, especially if you don't have all the context. Like you can't talk about Britney Spears without all of the context. The context is very important. This is why you can't just say like all women, oh, all of the Instagram models are going to be like going nuts. Like, No, that's not true. Like, a lot of the women are posting the pictures on Instagram and doing all the shit because they're incentivized by money. When the money stops, they're going to find something else to be incentivized by. And especially with, like, so many people having podcasts where they're, like, unpacking all of these different philosophies, unpacking meaning, unpacking virtue, I feel like probably all of the OnlyFans girls will go find some sort of virtue or some sort of meaning to live under, right? under this you know for the rest of their lives and probably put that part of their lives behind them that's what I think at least I'm not positive about that but that's I mean that's what I would do if I were in that situation I don't know I just I think that it's kind of interesting just to hold 
hold a candle on the other side from like the feminist perspective and just kind of shine a light on like, yeah, like actually like not every woman is just crazy because they did OnlyFans because that that narrative is an extra simple ideology for dummies. And please don't be a dummy because I don't support dummies on this channel.